good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. A daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you'll come back tomorrow because we'll be here doing this all over again. Did you miss us and showing together? Because <laughs> I did. In the car. <laughs> Wait, is this your friend? No. I thought it was Brian. We haven't seen Brian Malpass in so long. I know, I'm worried. You all know Sarah and I's favorite part of the movie is actually the previews. In our previews, we're going to see the kitchen started nine minutes ago. We are running late to a movie that I am starring in, so even more <laughs> rude. <laughs> What's yeah. her name? Elizabeth Moss. Everyone says I look just like her. You smell like moss. <laughs> I'm joking. Here we go. Wow, wow, wow. That was real good. So when it comes to like mob movies, it was one of the best. Filmed well, storyline as well. I, apparently it's based on great music. Um, apparently it's based on a comic book series. And like things took you me by surprise. Things but, didn't go how I thought they were gonna yes, go. But all still very true to like what you learn about the mob culture in movies, I guess. So definitely not it's kid friendly. Because oh yeah, it's an intense movie. Intense. Not kid friendly. Not at all. I would say older. Um, yeah. Not even it's it's R, so it's not for teenagers. Um, Irish and Italian. That's what Liz my blood is El made. Elizabeth Moss. <laughs> she does. You do look like her. I do. You do. My profile. And so the whole time I'm like, wait, and I'm gonna ruin one part of it, and I don't know if that you could tell from the trailers, but our guy Tim from About Time <laughs> is in it. And is in like a relationship with Elizabeth Moss. So I'm like, wait. It's not me. I, swear. I know, I know. But I'm actually gonna go on a run. But we're gonna do a couple stores together before I leave to go run. I'm nervous because I haven't run in like three days. You can do it. I don't know. It's like not long, but for me it's long because this is like my six weeks of training, and I haven't skipped. I haven't gone more than two days. Yeah. And now I've actually gone four days without running. Got it. Got it. And Sugar Boo will give you the courage. You ruined the surprise. Mr. Green Thumb over here. This is dedicated to you guys. Yeah, to each one of you that we've met and we didn't even know it. This one is so me. He said that there are two ways to live your life. One is nothing is miracle and the other is through everything is miracle. Don't I say, like, I literally like look at a piece of broccoli and I'm like, this is a miracle. <laughs> yeah, but it's a piece of broccoli. <laughs> but it's just like, <laughs> how, how? It's a miracle. What? <laughs> What's going on in Disney Springs tonight? <laughs> Getting ready for a good old run. This, this is my front yard, I guess. I'm self-conscious. Peter's favorite. Uh, put on wait, my blue wait. suede shoes and I go to the place. Focus, focus. Peter's favorite running YouTuber is the Ginger Runner. Go subscribe and tell him we sent you. <laughs> He has no idea who we are, and he is a professional. Okay, Peter's going that way to run in Saratoga. I'm, I'm eventually going to go in Saratoga. Yeah, I'm going to meet you there, but have all the fun, get all the snacks, rest all the rest, listen to, go find Brian Malpass maybe. I'm not going to run until I get to House of Blues because I don't want to scare anybody, <laughs> thinking that like they need to run. Because like, I get that sometimes, where like, I'm walking somewhere and I see somebody running at like Boardwalk and I'm not running, I'm like, wait, what's going on? So I promised Peter I'd get one sweet and one savory thing. So I'm gonna start sweet. I don't really know how hungry I am. I ate dinner, but um, just a little sneaky snack. Going to Old Faithful. And I got banana bread. I haven't had banana bread since we've been vegan, and I love banana bread. I would put a whole bunch of butter on this. In fact, this is Matt and Ben's favorite place. This is where they got engaged. 
I've never eaten here before, but they swear by it. I'm gonna go check out the lobby and maybe the quick service, maybe the movie under the stars. Got so many options. So I was told at the bar, the only place to get food here, because it is 10 o'clock, is the artist palette, which I really, really like. All sorts of sweet treats. So I had a veggie sandwich and some different salad options, but I just wanted a little snack, so I got these chips and put Tabasco sauce on them. That is one snack that my dad would always do, more so on like, like wavy potato chips, um, or really any potato chips. So these ones are just a little fancier, um, but I love it too. And I'm probably not gonna eat all this, just probably bring some home or save some for Peter. I'm gonna check his location. He's running nine miles but he runs faster than I have been um, transporting myself. Is that what the right word would be? Um, traveling, traveling around Disney Springs in here. Um, so who knows, he might be done soon. So I moved outside. I was gonna go by the pool, but it closes at 10. And I was just really feeling more like relaxing resort. Um, feeling than Disney Springs. That is why I left. And I wanted to talk to you about my day and I also couldn't really find a spot there to do it. So basically I did not have a good day at all today. And that's, you know, why I got the treats is because we take comfort in food and I pinky promised Peter that I would do that because he knew it would make me happy. But the reality is we haven't started our new cycle yet. The timing of my body just isn't cooperating. I will go to the doctor regardless this week um, because if things don't start, they need to check and see why they haven't been starting or what's going on, where I am in my cycle. Um, or I get to, I start and then I get to go and um, begin preparation for the frozen transfer. But it's been almost four weeks since our negative test and I'm not an angry person and today and lately I've just been straight up frustrated and mad which is really strange for me because I'm more of a sad person um, and so I don't know I'm just I, I took a lot of today to kind of just let myself be and not push it too hard but I mean I I've been going through this for almost four years I know how I preferred to handle things and I just want to thank you guys in the vlog in general because doing this really does help us not wallow in it and I know it's okay for us not to film I always tell people we choose what we film. We put out a 15 minute video every day. There's 24 hours that we actually experience. So really, everything that we, go, that we go through in our day is not on the vlog. A lot of it is. We share a lot of information in a lot of our lives. Um, however, you know, feeling good enough to just get out here and sit and enjoy my favorite place and to get some treats and to share it with you guys like really does help and I know that we will have a positive test video someday and I know how awesome that's going to be and it'll make up for all of these sit down chats that we have that um when we're feeling lower than usual. I came across a handful of posts today of um, just people who've been through similar things or trials whatsoever and they would have never known that a year from now they'd be where they are now. So I just have to keep moving forward, keep practicing what we preach. I did edit the July recap. I don't know when it's gonna go up. Um, it's a little bit sadder than our typical recaps, 
but we wanted to share July and remember July for what it was and it was sad so it was also happy though both elements are definitely um, included in the recap but just fair warning it is not your typical recap personally I struggle a lot with not wanting to feel weak I am I don't want to, I don't know, bring us down in any way. And so that's my struggle, but I also know that I need to feel these feelings. I also don't want to like preach anything, you know, on here about how you should handle your anxieties or your stresses. Basically, I'm just here to share our story. And hopefully, I don't know, just, make it a little bit more normal to talk about because let's face it, all of us have something, you know, you never truly know what others are going through. Um, and so, yeah, I'm human. So this patio is awesome. There are rocking chairs over there. I don't know if you can hear it, but the music is also awesome. A mixture of like different piano covers and just like big band stuff. There's a ton of recreation stuff here I never knew about. Animator class, Derby Dash, Jockey's Hideout, a space dedicated to young adults with music, video games, and refreshments. Wind Paint Show, and Sunrise Yoga. Wow, look at the aspiring athlete. This is a hard day for me as an aspiring athlete. I mean, I guess you're not an inspiring athlete. Oh no, you are inspiring. <laughs> You're not aspiring because you already are an athlete. Thanks for the water and thanks for that comment. It's about to get real dark. I'll show you. Did you run in the dark? This part, yeah. It was spooky because I thought there'd be like bugs and critters. And then it said one time I got almost run over by a gang of lifeguards on bicycles. <laughs> there was four of them. They came from like around the corner. It was so scary. So you should have showed it when we were on the actual like trail. Well, trail but you can walk from saratoga springs on both sides to disney springs we did not know that before we have walked all the way around thank you to brooke smith for pointing that out to us but That's now we're on I like, yeah I, I ran i started at house of blues and ran this all the way to the other side of springs and then throughout the saratoga and then came back i did that two twice and a little extra jip jip jumping around inside of saratoga <laughs> to get me to nine miles so it's yeah. about a, about three and a half miles a little over three and a half miles to go from House of Blues all the way to the other end of Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Like through Saratoga. Through Springs. Saratoga and back. So here is the view of Disney Springs. And we'll just finish this little trail. And right over here is where we saw the Bucket List family at their meet and greet. Thought about that today. <laughs> Quote of the day Life is available only in the present moment. Fitch not happen. Both of our hairs look crazy. <laughs> um, it's time to go to bed. I'm real tired after that run. Guys, we're going to talk more about our fundraising, but the link is in the ah! info below. Yeah. Eve's mad. It's like a week dedicated to running. This entire week is dedicated to running. I missed three runs when I was in Louisville, but I'm going to try to make up two of them, but I'm going to listen to my body. But it's crazy that my training is at a point where between now and Sunday, without adding the 18 miles that I'm going to try ah! to add in, I'll be running... 50 miles, I think is what the math was. I think our doggy needs water. So I'm supposed to run like something like 50 some miles. And if I add the two runs, which today was one of them, it'll bring me to 68 miles between today and Sunday. So we'll see. I'm gonna listen to my body and see. <laughs> it's one thing to, to like recuperate after like what you missed, but you have to be. Mindful of how serious my training now is because we're three months, three and a half months away. Wow. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.